everyone. Today I'm going to be teaching you a little bit about how to use the Google Calendar to set up team projects and manage group schedules while you're a student here at SLIS. As I'm sure you know, you will be expected to complete some teamwork as a student at SLIS, and the Google, Google Calendar is a great tool for managing schedules and setting up meeting times and times to work on the group projects. So before we get started, you should know you do not have to have a Gmail account to use the Google, Google Calendar but uh, you do need a Gmail address in order to use all the features that the calendar has available. So, assuming you do have a Gmail address, the easiest way to access the Google Calendar is by selecting Calendar here. Once you do that, uh, you will need to set up a calendar for your team, and you can do that by selecting My Calendars, and then Create New Calendar. That will take you here where you can name the calendar, so team schedule or whatever you want to name it, you can add a description and location as well. Uh, you will notice that it has a calendar time zone. One advantage of the Google calendars is that it has a time zone converter, meaning that even if you're in one time zone and your teammates are all in another, it's going to show what they add to the calendar in your time zone rather than theirs, and that way you don't have to think about converting, okay, I'm two hours ahead of them, or they're three hours behind me, and it just kind of takes out one extra step and that little potential for error when it comes to meeting time. Next, you'll notice that you have the option to make the calendar public. That's really a personal, uh, or a personal choice. I usually choose not to. Um, and then next, we're going to get to where it says share with specific people. This is where you're going to share the calendar with your teammates. So there are two steps for doing this. The first thing you need to do is add your teammates email address. And so it doesn't have to be Gmail, it can be Yahoo, it can be their D2L email address, just whatever you have. And then uh, step two, you need to go to permission settings and you need to change it to make changes and manage sharing. By, allow, or by changing the permission settings to this, this will allow your teammates to add their schedules to the calendar and uh, to access the calendar and make all kinds of changes. So then you'll click add person and you can add as many people as you need for your teammates. And once you've finished doing all that, you'll click Create Calendar. So now that you've created a calendar, you need to know how to access that calendar and add events to it. So in order to do that, you'll select the uh, calendar that you want, click on the down arrow, and then select Display This Calendar Only. So, this means you're only going to show this calendar and make changes in, in it. And I found in group projects a great way to manage everyone's schedule and to coordinate meeting times is to put the times that everyone is unavailable to meet. And that way you can see uh, when people just can't meet and also when there are times that everyone is free to meet. So in order to do that, you need to add an event, and there are two ways to do this. The first way is to simply collect, or select an hour that you're not available to meet, and you can put unavailable or whatever you want, and then simply click create event. And there that will show everyone who has access to the calendar that you're unavailable. Now the second way to do that is by selecting the hour and then double clicking. That will take you to this screen where you can again type unavailable or whatever you want. Uh, but this screen has the advantage of allowing you to use or to block off more hours of the day. So say you work all day, you come home uh, after your commute, and then you can mark off that you're not available all day until 6 p.m. And then you can click Save. And that'll do the same thing as uh, the previous method, but just for a long period, a longer period of time. Uh, and so, once you've made the changes, you may want to show your teammates that you've made the changes. And an easy way to do this is by clicking Share here at the top right of the screen. And you can type in that you've updated the calendar or whatever. And this is where you would type in the email addresses of your teammates that are uh, working on the project with you and then hit share and there you go and additionally by using this feature you can also share the calendar with people who previously didn't have access to it uh, and as I said this is a great feature when it comes to managing team pro our team schedules and figuring out team projects and uh, I hope that this instructional screencast has been helpful to you